This Android tutorial shows how to build video conference into your app with Zigo Cloud. To embed video conference feature, we are going to integrate and customize Zigo Cloud pre-built UI kit SDK into your app. Then users start voice, video, or text chat through Zego Cloud real-time network. It's that simple. Now, we are in Android environment. We start from zero to integrate Zigo video conference kit. The first step is to create a new app project in Android Studio and name it Video Conference Example. In this page, you might need to wait for a while before you start it. Until now, you can add button on your app homepage. Select Activity Main from the list and convert view to button. Now you got the button but we still need to edit the button. Firstly, assign ID for the button so that it can be functional. Secondly, change the text here, join video conference. Then we can use this button to jump to the video conference activity. Next, we need to create a video conference activity. Select new activity and empty activity one by another and we name it conference activity. Then we add the navigate logic to the main activity. Okay. Now we start to add Zigo UI Kit pre-built video conference as dependencies. The first step is to add the JIT pack configuration. The second step is to modify your build Gradle file. Select the file and add dependency here. And then, the SDK starts to download after we click, sync project with Gradle files. Now it has been built successfully and it is ready to run. Here we are, we will use the Zigo UI Kit pre-built video conference fragment in your project. Firstly, you need to enter app ID and app sign, and I will show you how to find it in Zigo Cloud Admin Console. Here is the page of the console after you sign in. Create your own project, and then click the edit button. OK, you can directly copy your app ID and app sign here. Now back to here, we keep going on. In our test program, you can use random strings as user ID and username. If you have your own user account system, you can use them. You also need to enter conference ID, which is for users that join the conference with the same ID can talk to each other. You can customize the rules of conference ID as you like, according to your business logic. Okay, we will do another import step. To integrate the SDK eventually, follow these codes to call the API as shown. Then add the fragment to the activity, like this. After that then click Activity Conference and add an ID for the layout. Back to the main activity. If your Java version is later than 11, modify your settings by following us. Now we can start the app. OK. You have finished all the steps. You can simply run and test your app on your device. Video conference now can be used in your app. And that is all for integrating conference kit and building conference feature in Android. Let's get started.